Why is the Philippine Air Force interested in the KF-21 Barame, aka Potassium Fluoride X, fighter? It's because of the price, or there are other factors. If Kai can indeed bring the unit price to 65 million United States dollars, which would be lower than the Lockheed Martin F-16 Viper, Saab JAS-39E Gripening, and Boeing FA-18E Super Hornet, the KF-21 could be the Philippine Air Force's next fighter aircraft under the Horizon 3 phase of the RAF PMP. If everything goes according to plan, the Philippine Air Force plans to acquire between 24 and 36 units after completing the current multi-role fighters acquisition project for the 12 units being negotiated with the US and Swedish governments for fighters under the Horizon 3 phase. Chi also plans to export its KF-21 Barame, a 4.5 generation warplane currently under development and expected to be mass produced in 2026. Kim said the KF-21 is an evolutionary new generation fighter at an affordable price. The sales pitch to provide affordable and capable air assets is based on the Philippine Air Force's 2028 and 2040 strategic plans. South Korea, one of the world's largest arms exporters, has been the Philippines' main source of defense equipment. At the end of the Duterte administration, it signed a new deal for six offshore patrol vessels and two corvettes for the Philippine Navy with a combined value of P-58 billion. The program is led by the South Korean government, which has 60% of the program's shares. Indonesia took a 20% stake in the program in 2010, while the remaining 20% is held by private partners, including Kai. South Korea is expected to field the KF-21 by 2026. Its primary intended users are the Republic of Korea Air Force and the Indonesian Air Force. The KF-21 is South Korea's second domestic fighter jet development program, following the F-A-50. The initial goal for the program was to develop a single-seat twin-engine multi-role fighter with stealth capabilities exceeding both the Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but less than those of the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The Weapon Systems Concept Development and Application Research Center of Concord University advised that the KFX should be superior to the F-16 Fighting Falcon, with 50% greater combat range, 34% longer airframe lifespan, better avionics, active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, more effective electronic warfare, and data link capabilities. Their recommendations also specified approximately 50,000 pounds force, 220,000 N, of thrust from two engines, supersonic interception and cruising capabilities, and multi-role capabilities. The project requirements were later downgraded by the Republic of Korea Air Force, ROKAF, to a 4.5 generation fighter with limited stealth capabilities. Philippine Air Force spokesperson Colonel Maynard Mariano made this remark when asked if the KF-21, whose airframe is described as stealthier than any fourth generation fighter, is being considered for the multi-role fighter project. It is a possibility that, given that the multi-role fighter project has not been funded yet, the KF-21 can be a contender for the multi-role fighter project, he added in a message to the Philippine news agency, PNA, Tuesday. Mariano said the Philippine Air Force is closely monitoring the developments of the KF-21, whose prototype had its first flight on July 19. Mariano also expects the KF-21 to become a viable combat aircraft like the Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, FA-50PHs, of which the Philippine Air Force has around 12 in service. Just like when we got the FA-50s, there were a lot of negative comments against them, but we proved to the critics that the system can be made combat ready and was actually proven in combat. In the country started in 2015 and ended in 2017, the contract was worth around 18 billion Philippine pesos. The KF-21, which is also produced by Kai, is a South Korean fighter aircraft development program with Indonesian involvement, with the goal of producing an advanced multi-role fighter for South Korea and Indonesia. The Philippine Air Force is monitoring this. We cannot close our options when there are new systems that may be able to compete with other systems and which may fit into our requirements for defense. In this day and age, the prototyping stage for any system can be done faster due to the available technology, and we might see it fielded soon, Mariano said. 
the Philippine Air Force multi-role fighter project requires at least 12 units of fourth-generation fighters capable of integrating with existing radar systems and having a range of at least 250 nautical miles. If funded, this project is worth around 61 billion Philippine pesos.